Hey what's going on guys? In this video we are going to talk about body centered cubic structure. Here we have a body centered cubic structure and for a body centered cubic structure there are two atoms per unit cell. So two atoms per unit cell. Now let's see how it is. Here from this picture you can see each of this side each of this side is one of one over eight of the atom. So we here we have eight side. 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom, 3 and 1, one in, in the back side of this big atom. So we have 1 over 8 times 8 atom. And uh, in the middle we have big 1 atom plus 1 and that's how we got 1 over 8 times 8 that's 1, 1 plus 1 that's 2, 2 atoms per unit cell. And also we have to know for a body centered cubic structure the coordination number is equal to 8. The reason is every atom in a body centered cubic structure is connected with eight other atoms here you can see this big atom in the middle is connected with eight atoms in the corner so that's how we got coordination number is equal to eight and also if we talk about this h length x that is equivalent to four over square root of three r now let's see how we can derive this okay before we go for this one we have to know one thing this length is r and this big at atom in the middle that is equal the length of, from here to here is equal to 2r the radius is 2r and here this is r and if we draw this cube separately okay if we draw this one separately let's draw in a different way I have to change the layer once again. Okay, let's draw this one differently. Okay. Okay, here we have a cube, and for a cube, we are going to have something like this. Okay, so for a cube, in the cube, we have a big atom in the middle and each corner have 1 over 8 of the atom from here to here it's r from here to here it's r in the middle it's 2r 2r and this is r okay so this corner to this corner totally 4r so that's the edge length of this like f not edge length from this edge to this edge is equal to 4r distance and each of this edge is called x because this is a cube okay this doesn't look like a cube but this is a cube so each side is x and this side also x L let's draw another cube okay let's go ahead and draw the another cube okay here we have a cube okay this is another cube and now I'm going to use some different terms in order to bring this equation we have to prove this x is equal to 4 over square root of 3 r that's our purpose okay now let's call this length from this corner to this corner d and let's call this length from here to here l and we know that each side of this h length is equal to x okay so each of this side is equal to x this height also x because this is a cube the side all of the side are equal and from this one you can see for a cube each of this is 90 degree right each of this corner is 90 degree and therefore we can use the Pythagorean theorem we can say l is equal to x square plus x square and also this d is going to be the d is going to be this triangle right from here to here and that's going to be d square is the hypotenuse that's equal to l square plus x square and therefore l square is we already know that's x square plus x square plus x square so we have 3 x square is equal to d square therefore d is going to be square root of 3 x if you square root both sides so we derived d is equal to square root of 3 x and we already know 
from this edge to this edge the total distance is 4r right because this is r 2r r to, for totally, totally 4r so this d is equal to 4r right d is equal to 4r so we can replace this d with 4r and we already derived d is equal to square root of 3x and d is equal to 4r therefore 4r is equal to square root of 3x and we are interested in finding the edge length that is x so x is going to be equal to 4r over square root of 3 and that's how we derived this equation okay that's the edge length now let's see how much percentage of these atoms like how how much percentage of this cube is occupied by the atoms now let's get rid of this all of this diagram we have drawn okay for a body centered cubic structure 68 percentage of the volume is occupied by the atom here we are going to prove this one now let's see how we can prove this we have to in order to prove this one we have to create the equation like v atoms over v cube if you find this one that's going to give us the percentage of the volume occupied by the atoms and for a cube the for the atom the volume is going to be 4 over 3 phi r cube because all of them are in um, spherical shape right for a atom it's spherical shape so 4 over 3 times phi r cube and for a body centered cubic structure we said there are two atoms in a for a unit cell so here we have to multiply this one by two because we have two atoms for a cube the volume is x cube because each of the h length is x so x cube now we already derived x is equal to 4 over square root of 3 r right we can replace this x with that one so if we replace this one this is going to be 4 over 3 phi r cube square divided by x cube that's going to be 4 over square root of 3 r whole cube okay so finally we will end up with 4 let's uh, get rid of all of these ter ter square and cubes actually this is 2 right this is not square because we multiply this one by 2 because we have 2 atoms so this is not a square let's get rid of this square this is 2 so here we can already see something we can get rid of some terms okay let's 4 over 4 over 3 times 2 times phi r cube divided by 4 cube divided by 4 cube divided by square root of 3 cube r cube we can get rid of this r cube r cube and also we can get rid of one of the 4 so this is going to be 4 square 4 will cancel and if you cube this 3 we are going to have if we cube a 3 we are going to have 3 3 times square root of 3 square root of 3 square root of 3 we can replace that one with 3 square root of 3 so if we replace this one with 3 square root of 3 you can see this 3 square root of 3 will flip around and go to the top this is dividing so this 3 this 3 cancels so we are left with 2 phi 2 times 5 divided by 4 square so that's our final der derivation 2 phi over 4 and also root 3 is here that's going to flip around and go to the top so we are going to have 2 phi root 3 divided by 4 square that's going to be 16 okay and if we simplify this one that's going to be 5 root 3 divided by 8 and if you calculate this value you are going to get 0 0.6802 let's let's write this one 0 0.6802 and it means this is 68.02 percentage in other words we can say approximately 68 percentage of this cube is occupied by the atoms and that's the conclu conclusion we can derive from this equation and that's how we those are some basic stuffs about body centered cubic structure i hope this helps thanks for watching